All right, so we are moving on to uh, the organic chemistry part. Compounds. A, B, and C are structural isomers of uh, each other, having the molecular formula C5, H10, and O. So this is more or less like uh, can be an uh, alcohol because there is only one oxygen, or can be an aldehyde, or can be a ketone, and even can be an ether. So we don't know, we'll check. All three compounds give a yellow orange precipitate with 240NP. Okay, so this confirms from the first point. This should be uh, an aldehyde, which uh, gives a positive result with uh, 240NP or ketone. Okay, so that is the first idea that we can take. All three compounds give uh, that is done. None of them give a silver mirror in the silver mirror test. So this confirms the second point view. This is not aldehyde because aldehyde give positive result with silver mirror test tolerance. When A, B, C were separately reacted with sodium borohydride, so which is our reducing agent, compounds D, E, F are formed respectively. So from A, B, C, you are going to get D, E, and F. So these are the products that you are going to get. Only E and F shows optical isomerism so these two compounds should have a chiral center so keep that in mind when b and c were separately reacted with the uh, grignard reagent okay followed by hydrolysis compounds g and h respectively were obtained so these two added with uh, the grignard so they're going to add with grignard CH3, CH2, CH3, MGBR, and GNH is obtained. So that is also okay. So B will give G, C will give H, and only G shows optical isomerism. So for here, G, there is a chiral center. So it's all nice, right? And they're asking for the structures of for A, B, C, D, and F, and G, and H, right? So uh, I will sh sh I will use the board very quickly for this one. Okay. So C five H ten O. So that is the formula that they have uh, given here. And uh, I hope you can see my uh, face also. So C five H ten O. So this should be a ketone because. Uh, the compound does not uh, participate in the tolerance reaction. So these are structural isomers as well. So we will try to do some ketones using this uh, chemical formula, okay? So for ketone, there should be two different uh, R groups that should be attached on either side of the carbon, right? So here one carbon is done and one oxygen is done. So we are remaining with C4 and H10. So that automatically gives you the idea. This can be like CH2, CH3, and this can be CH2, CH3. Because here C2, C2 is going to give C4, and 5 hydrogen and 5 hydrogen is going to give you 10 hydrogen. So this is the basic structure that you can draw using this specific uh, remaining part here after the subtraction of carbon and oxygen okay then you can try to manipulate this structure further right so i can push one of this r group to here so that i can make a compound like this ch2 ch2 ch3 so this is also a structural isomerism isomer of this so this is the second structure. So what else I can do? I see an additional step that you can do here. Since it is three carbons, I have told you this many times when you see three carbons, you always try to go for a branch structure. So instead of attaching here in the terminal one, you can attach here in the middle one. 
So basically, you will have this type of a structure. So you're going to attach here. So there will be CH3 here and CH3 here and one hydrogen here. So these are the available options for A, B, and C. And I don't see any other structures that can be drawn. Yeah, that's it. So one of these could be A, B, and C. And the next part that says here is uh, when you add sodium borohydride, so you obtain D, E, and F. So we will check with that. So when you add NaBH4, so what are the products that you're going to obtain here? So here I'm going to obtain CH3CH2OH hydrogen and CH2CH3. So this is the reduction. And here I'm going to obtain CH3CH2CH2OH, CH3 and hydrogen. And here hydrogen, CH3, OH, hydrogen, CH3 and CH3. So it says you obtain D, E and F. So that is done. And they said E and F shows optical isomerism. So out of these three, only two shows optical isomerism. So basically you see, a, see here, there is no chiral center here, but there is a chiral center here, and as well as a chiral center here. So basically this compound should be A, and this should be A, B, C, and this should be D. And BC can be interchanged because we don't know whether this is uh, B and this is C. So if this is B, this is C. So this would become E and F. And if this is B, if this is C, so this would become E and F. So we have to check that. So how do we check that? We have given an additional information, if you remember. What is that ad additional information? When B and C were separately reacted with the Grignard that is given, G and H were respectively obtained, and G only showed optical isomerism. So this would give you the confirmation for what is uh, B and C, right? So this could be one of the compounds, either this or this. So they are going to react this with the green eye, CH3, CH2, CH2, MgBr. Okay. So what is the product that you're going to think of coming? So there will be hydrogen here after the hydrolysis and there will be this uh, CH2, CH2, CH3 part and here also same. So there will be no double bond. It will be converted to a single bond. And here there will be CH3, CH2 and uh, CH3 part. And you will see here this CH2, CH2, CH3, and this CH2, CH2, CH3 is common. So this will not show optical isomerism, but here you see an chiral center, which gives you an optical active compound. Okay, so surely the addition, after the addition of the Grignard reagent, this should be G, and this should be H, which should give you the idea when B and C is reacted from the description, they say G and H is formed. So principally, this ketone should be B and this ketone should be C. So if this is B, this should be E and C, it should be F. So all three structures are done for A, B and C then D, E, and F, and the Grignard product you can predict very, very easily, which gives G and H, and only G is optically active here. And also here with E and F, these two are optically active. So everything is done within a single point. Okay, so don't forget this is very, uh, I would say straightforward, right? Not a big deal here. Because you are very, 
specify to a small region because of this formula because they have given it is not accepting or positive gives positive results for the tolerance so it will be very easy to go with the ketone because ketone you will have only these three structures you cannot do any other structural isomers for this one so this becomes very simple right so i will share the screen again so based on this, so we can uh, find all these. So this is very uh, simple now. Then uh, draw the structure of the product of the following reaction. So we have to find A here. So A was the one which does not show any optical activity. So it was this one. Uh, I will draw A here. So it was CH3, CH2 on uh, both sides. And the carbonyl carbon is in the middle. So when you add uh, two for DNP, don't forget this uh, carbonyl uh, oxygen is going to combine with the uh, NH2 part of the DNP. So there will be this carbon uh, CH2, CH3 like this. So this will be CH2, CH3 like this. And in the DNP, there will be one of the NH2 at the terminal is going to form this bond with uh, the carbonyl carbon of the uh, ketone. And the rest is, you know, this with the benzene ring. So then the 2 4 structure, right? So there will be NO2 here in the second one. And there will be an NO2 here in the fourth carbon. So this is what. Two for DNP. So this there will be this oxygen reacting with the NH hydrogen to hydrogen to eliminate uh, water. Okay, so that is the idea here. Right. So moving on. So this will be very straightforward. So what is actually happening here? So draw the structure of the major organic product. So you just need to consider about the major organic product. So benzene when react with H two rainy nickel. So you are going to get cyclohexane. Okay, so all the double bonds are going to uh, remove, so all single bonds are formed. So this is aniline, we are to water, so you get the white color precipitate that uh, bromine is uh, tri-substituted in the aniline. This is one thing. And CH3CHO equals NaOH dehydration. So first you have to write down the aldol condensation product with equals NaOH and then in the aldol product there will be a OH uh, very close to each other to adjacent hydrogen so if you move that water molecule that shows your dehydration so basically when NaOH is added so this will be the uh, initial product so CH3 this would be converted to our OH initially OH and H which is this hydrogen and this hydrogen is given from this CH3. So there will be this CH2. And the rest is similar again. So this is the aldol product, right? So this is the aldol product. Then the dehydration means this OH is going to be removed with this hydrogen according to the ZSEF rule. So the final product will be CH3 carbon double bond and there will be hydrogen here and CH and the carbon ion. okay so you have to write down this product not this one and uh, this is a uh, diazonium salt when you heat with H3PO2 so you are going to end up with only getting uh, the benzene this is one of the ways to remove N2Cl or a benzene ring and C2H5CO NH2 with aqueous NaOH. So you see here there will be this uh, hydrolysis that is happening across the amide bond. CO NH2. So there will be hydrolysis here. So it will give C2H5COOH initially, but since there is a NaOH, so COO minus. And uh, the other one is going to give you uh, ammonia, right? 
so those uh, those will be the uh, typical uh, products of this particular uh, reaction but you have to write down the major products so the major product will be c2h5 or minus na plus so this is the major product and then uh, ch3 ch uh, double bond ch2 conch 2 so forth this is one of the questions that students get confused this is not the hydration. For the hydration, we add dilute H2SO4. So it is basically when you add H2SO4. So initially, the cation is going to be generally formed like this. For an example, there will be CH3. And there will be CH. And there will be OSO3H. It's like HSO4 minus that is added here right then when you add water this is going to be removed to form oh that is the hydration so ammonia ch3 cocl with ammonia will going to form ch3 co nh2 so basically it will convert it to the amide form and c2h5 coh cl5 so c2h5 cocl and H plus KMNO4 with C2H5OH will give you the acetic acid, CH3CHCOOH. And finally, with HCN, giving a nucleophilic addition reaction, C2H5. And there will be uh, uh, OH here. This uh, carbonyl oxygen could be converted to OH, and this hydrogen here. And there will be CH3. Okay, so this is the normal way right all right so finally the last question is very straightforward i think i don't have to explain much so one of the products in the reaction of cl2 with ch4 in the presence of light is ch3cl then they're asking write the steps of the mechanism of the reaction which shows how ch3cl is formed and indicate uh, the movements of the electrons using curved arrows or half curved half arrows so I have discussed this uh, before. I told you CH3Cl can be formed in uh, two steps. One is in the termination step where your CH radical will combine with chlorine radical uh, to give you the CH3Cl product, that is uh, one. And the other thing is when you have CH3 radical in the propagation step uh, with Cl2, so it will form, uh, so you can write down this as this. I'll erase here. In the propagation step, sorry, sorry, sorry. In the propagation step, so this could be formed like this. So there will be CH3Cl plus uh, Cl radical again. So these are the two steps that the CH3Cl is formed. So we discussed this before, if you don't remember. And I asked you the question, in which step this uh, the formation of CH3Cl is dominant? Okay. And I gave you the answer. It is in this propagation step, not in the termination step, because in the mixture, you find higher concentration of Cl2 than cl radical therefore there will be higher cl2 that is reacting with ch3 radical giving the ch3 cl so this is the dominant step the propagation step is the dominant step in the formation of the ch3 cl okay so this is these two reactions are essential to write down for this answer